Yo, what's up, people of YouTube? It's Sorcerer Crocs, and <clears throat> this is episode number two of the WTF series. And today, I'm gonna be talking about basketball. More importantly, fans of basketball. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna clarify. I'm a fan of basketball. I love watching basketball. I'm not a player, but I love watching basketball. It's an awesome sport. But I just gotta say, some of you, some of us fans are just not right. Now, my first topic for this is concerning the refs. No, now I kind of agree for the most part that refs are just douche. They're just douchebags. I hate refs, and it's not just in basketball. It's in every sport. <clears throat> and I just think that sometimes the refs make the worst calls. Sometimes the ref just has something for you. Just, he just has something against you. And he's going to do whatever he can. Like, just the smallest thing you do, he's going to call you for it. <clears throat> now, I think that's a little messed up. I do. But sometimes refs make correct calls. Because, I mean, sure, I get pissed if one of my guys gets something called, but it's a freaking game. So I'm like, okay, well, that was a good one. But if it's not, if it's one of those calls where I'm just like, he didn't do anything, that's when I fight against it. But when it's like real legit, even if it's my team, if it, even if it's against the team I'm going for, I say, you know what, that, that's a good call. It's a good call. There's just those fans, excuse me, that... As soon as the ref says something, oh man, he just he just hates our team. He 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 just he doesn't know what to do. You know, just start calling. You know, saying all this stuff. I like, I've actually heard people just cussing them out. And I'm like, seriously, it's a freaking sport. It's a freaking job. It's and you know, not job. What well, is a job? But it's a game. It's entertainment. <coughs> Stop, there's no need for this rude. Violent gestures. I don't know. I just think they're they take it too 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 far sometimes. And then we talk we we talk about the fans against the players. Now, this is something that I mean I actually lived through it while I was playing soccer. But I mean I know there's people who fake injuries. Just to get another player in trouble, and then them getting, uh, you know, in basketball, technically like a free throw, in soccer, like a kick. So, I mean, I, I've actually seen this, because I, you know, in all my years of soccer, people would always, you know, fake. Like every, every here, you know, here and now, they would fake injuries just to get a call and get a free kick. In basketball, people do that, yes, but... You gotta understand, sometimes they're not faking it. In basketball, it's kinda easier, I mean, it's kinda harder to fake it. Considering the fact that, I mean, there's not much movements with your legs. So in one sense, they twisted your ankle, more than likely, about a 96%, it's true. Because there's not a lot of footwork going around. Like, maybe if it was like a shoulder, yeah, you'd be like, oh man, he's faking. Because it's actually more true. But, you know, I, I just don't think that, because let's, like, let me, let me emphasize this. I went to a basketball game the other day. <coughs> Excuse me. I went to a basketball game the other day. And one of the players actually, like, the way he moved his body, it looked like he hurt. Like, I was, I probably am the only one that noticed, but it looked like he really hurt his ankle when he did, when he turned the way he did. And he actually, you know, fell and was holding his ankle really, really hard. I was like, wow. And then these people just start cussing at him, you know, stop being a baby, you know, you know, just more. I'm not going to say obviously what they said because, you know, rude, but. I mean, the, the way they were talking to this player, I was like, did you not see what happened? Are you freaking kidding me? He twisted his ankle. I mean, he got, it took him like 10 minutes to get up. 
Not, well, not 10 minutes, obviously, but I'm, I'm exaggerating. But it took him a while to get up. And even when he got up, the game was still going, and the guy was still, like, you know, stomping his feet to get his, his foot back in, in order. I was like, does, not, does anyone not see this? Okay, he's not even playing right now. He's not playing, really, because he's still working his ankle to get it to where it doesn't hurt anymore. Or at least, you know, start dealing with the pain. Because these players, this is their job. This is their career. I mean, they can't just stop and be like, oh, uh, I got hurt, so I should stop playing. No, no, no. Unless it's something, like, serious, and they're, like, medical records and the doctor and your physician. Besides, you can't play. That's when they don't play. But most of the time, I mean, they have to deal with the pain and play through. And so, obviously, I mean, that's how it was with my, with my soccer team. As you know, this is like a comparison. Our coach, or one of our coaches, was always like, you know what, get back up, deal with the pain, keep playing. And that's the way most people, you know, most athletes, you know, professional athletes have to work. If they get hurt, they have to play through it. It doesn't matter how much it hurts, they have to play through it until they get taken out. Because it's, you know, in all honesty, sometimes the coaches, you know, they, these are injuries. They, injuries are on purpose, you know, they're not planned. It's not in like a, like in a script or anything. It, it just happens. So the coaches aren't, you know, they have to manage around it. So they can't just come up with something like that out of the blue. So they got to give them a little time so they can figure something out. So they can switch, get something new, somebody new in so that they can work this new strategy. But it takes time. It's not, sorry about that. It's not something that just, you know, pops up out of nowhere. So, like, I just, personally, I think fa basketball fans and all fans in general need to take a chill pill. Calm down. It's a freaking game. Now, I don't know how it goes. I mean, I've heard stories of how it works with football fans from friends. Because I personally don't watch football at all. But, I mean, in, in volleyball, I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen in Freaking tennis. I mean, I can't say anything for golf because you know you're always quiet and there's not, not a lot, you know, it's not a team. But I mean, I see these in sports like this that they have a team and there's you know, there's stuff and it just pisses me off sometimes. Like I know I have my bad moments and I start yelling at the players too. I'm like, why did you do that? You should have done it this way. But it's. I do it in more of an encouraging way. Like, you can do, you know, like, do it this way next time. It might help you. Or, I know, I, obviously, they can't hear me because I'm in the stands or watching it on TV. But, like, I do it in an encouraging way. Now, when it comes to the other players, and I, <coughs> excuse me, and I say stuff, you know, I don't cuss them out. I'm just like, well, you know what? You were just lucky, you know. I do stuff like that. Like I don't get mad about it. I just really get. I don't know. Like I just don't understand. Like if you, that, that's a good question for you guys. I, I, answer, answer that question. Why do you think basketball fans or just sports fans in general act this way? You know, leave that in an answer. You know, down below in the description. I mean, not description. In the com comment section. Um, or, or what about this? Well, how do you act when you're watching your favorite sport? You know, mention your favorite sport too. Like, say, I like the NBA, or I like the NFL, or I like MLB, or you know, name the sport and then, you know, say like, right, I act this way when something is called by a ref, or the way I act towards my favorite team and stuff like that. You know, leave a comment down below. Your favorite team. What, the way you act towards your team and <coughs> excuse me and their opponents and the way you feel about refs and also answer the question uh, why do you think sports fans mostly act the way I've, I've mentioned throughout this video but that's all I have for you guys today uh, this has been Source and Croxon thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked it I don't I'm not one person is gonna be asking for those a lot um, and uh, I guess I'll see you next Monday. I'm not. I'm trying to make these episodes every Monday. Uh, I'm not, you know, promising anything, but I'm gonna try to make them every Monday. 
and also leave your suggestions because I might pick your you know your your idea for you know my little WTF. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.